Hello everyone. Welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In today's video, we are going to discuss about three ways to format strings in Power BI. We have one of the conventional way to format strings in Power BI, but additionally we have two more ways that we can format strings in Power BI, which are going to be very useful. So if you want to know more, please stay tuned till the end of this video. As you can see, this is my report where I have three measures on the top. These three different cards are showing me the different amounts. Along with that, I have one slicer where I have put with format and without format. So you can clearly see that once I click on without format, my dynamic measure is not gonna format it. However, if I just click with format, it's gonna get formatted. So it's obvious. In my sales, it's with currency, my profit margin is with percentage, while cost is in decimals with a thousand separator. How did I achieve it? So let's figure it out. In my previous video, I have already explained what are the disconnected tables and how to create the dynamic measures using disconnected table. Here also, I have applied the same technique. So you can see first I created one measure table where I have put all my measure names like sales, cost and profit margin. There is a one additional column which is going to sort it by the order that I have mentioned over here. After that once I done it then I created a dynamic measure. This dynamic measure is going to select the different measure values depends on the selection criteria. So you can see here it's the selected value in which it's first selecting the measures that I'm selecting in my table. Otherwise it's gonna return me the sales. Furthermore, you will notice over here in the, my variable dynamic measure, you will notice over here when my selected value equals to sales, then it's gonna give me the total sales. While when it's profit margin, it's gonna give me the profit margin. Otherwise, if it's cost, it's gonna give me the total cost. For those also, I created these measures and these are quite simple. Let me just show you. I'll go here and I'm gonna check my measures. So my total cost, or you can see over here, it's taking the fact into net sales table where I'm multiplying order quantity by the product standard cost. However, for total profit, I'm just subtracting my total sales from the total cost while total sales is the order quantity multiplied by the unit price. So these are quite basic. I won't go in the details about these three different measures that I have created. So let's move further. Now the question comes, how did I achieve this one where I can have with format and without format my selection? For this, we have to use the calculation groups. In one of my previous video, I have explained about the calculation groups. And if you want to check it out, you can see the link in the description section or you can also find somewhere on the top. So what did I do? First of all, you can open your tabular editor. Once your tablet uh, editor is open, you have to go to your tables and there you have to create a new calculation group. You can give it a name. For example, you want to format your string, so uh, you can give it a name format string. And then once you created this group, you have to add your new items into this one. Right now, there is a calculation item which is already over here, but I want to create a new so I can create new calculation item and I can give it a name. So for example, let's I give it without format. So once you will give, give without format, you just need to mention over here selected measure. And this is a DAX function which is going to give return your selected measure over here. However, once I need my measure with the format string so i'll say with format now you have to give over here the selected measure along with that you can see that now it would give you the name so you can give it a name uh, over here in my left hand side pane 
the name is not appearing so let's say uh, the name is not appearing so we have to give it a name over here so let's give it format right now right the name is there and now our expression is also there however in the format string you have to mention another so the dex formula which is gonna return you the different uh, strings so what we can do let's let me start writing this measure so over here we can start writing uh, creating a new variable which is a measure name which is gonna be equivalent to let me make it a bit better selected value this measure name is a uh, variable is gonna get first the selected value and this is gonna be selected value from our measure table so let's say measure table which I created and then the column name which is my measure name as my column name if it didn't find it then we can give the optional parameter which is my selected measure name so guys uh, here you should notice that this selected measure name is another dex function which is basically going to return you the selected measure name that we have selected so don't forget to read about it if you don't know about it however it's gonna be used by expressions for calculation items to determine the measure that is in context by the name so we can generally write it directly over here it's gonna return you a string value holding the name of the measure that is currently in context when the calculation item is evaluated so let me uh, complete this quickly let's say this variable we are calling currency format decimal and we are gonna be use the switch statement over here which is gonna be switch true when we have a our measure name equals to margin then it should gonna be return us a format string so we can measure our, uh, we can mention our here our format string so uh, basically margin is gonna be in percentage so we have to mention it in percentage format string and if you are not aware about you can also search over internet which format string you can use it for doing the same okay so let me mention the rest of the measures too here i have just did it so now guys this is gonna be our complete measure which we are going to use so you just need to click outside so now you can check that it's a measure which we are going to use to format our strings and there if you have noticed i'm also using one selected measure format string so whatever format we have done so it's gonna return us this one if it's not one of the above one so this is the optional one when condition is meeting it's gonna return the above three if it's not then it's gonna return in this one what is selected major format string so i would like to tell you it is gonna be used by expression for calculation items to retrieve the format strings for the measures that is in context and it's gonna return a string holding the format string of the measure that is currently in context when the calculation item is evaluated let me show you which i already created over here so this is without formatting where i'm just using this selected measure there's no format string at all if you need to format string you have to mention over here in the last line over here once you've done this just save it after that you can go in your table where you have created this so you can see i have a table with a name and now i can just refresh it so refresh the data i got my two i took this as a slicer and i have done nothing over here except just i drag and drop this one into my slicer so without slicer there's no formatting with slicer there's a formatting and values are appearing exactly as you can see on the uh, top kpis however there are two more methods for example if i take the measures over here you can see that sales ly 
So what were the sales last year? If you can check the top ribbon here, you get the different formatting options which you can change over here. Whether uh, sales you want in the currency, you can change the currency to any other currency, the one you would like to. Also, you can change it into whole number, decimal, and all those sort of options are there. These are the Power BI inbuilt functions that you can utilize it over here. So that was the number two. However, there is one more, the number three formatting. So what happens? Suppose I open one Excel file, and here if I write my total sales, uh, let's suppose I write one two zero four two three three something like that and now if i want to format it i can right click it and then i'll go on format cells and there you will see it's a general but however at the bottom you can see we have so many different options for example if i want to click this so you notice that i have this one now the amazing part is that you can copy this one once you copy this and let's put it over here in a card make it a bit big and once you will go uh, I'm sorry just like this one this is the currency in dollar right now so you can paste it over here directly that would help you in order to uh, use this custom format string over here however you should you should notice that this color which is over here the red you can see clearly this is not going to work in power bi so you have to remove this once you remove this then you can hit enter and it's gonna perfectly fine this article was published by matt from the accelerator bi so he did very good article over there so you can have a look and also if you want to read more about the disconnected items you can refer the form or blog so guys please let us know how do you think about this video and if you have anything in your mind please do let us know and we are going to make video on that topic too i hope you like today's video for more videos please stay tuned with us also don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest updates mm -hmm.